Hi everyone, this is Shane Armand Monroe. Today we're gonna to show you how to restore non-working EA apps using the new Proton Experimental Fix released by Valve. So we're gonna use Need for Speed Heat, which is a game that has been specifically pointed out to have this problem. So I just installed the game fresh, not previously installed, no files side loaded, nothing. This is literally right out of the box. So first run, you're going to get the EA app installation. And after that, you are going to get the dreaded EA purple screen of death, as I like to call it. This process takes longer than you would think it would take. I mean, we don't know what all is going on in the background here, but pretty bulky. The EA launcher itself is one gigabyte in size. Just the launcher. Forget about the game. And guess where that launcher sits on that very strapped internal memory. Okay, so once we successfully have the EA app installed, it goes ahead and runs first-time startup scripts. This will look sometimes like it goes into a boot loop. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with how these install scripts work, that is not uncommon. Look at that. It looks like it's just constantly installing DirectX over and over again. But it really isn't. It's actually doing something useful, and we need to let it finish its job. But you can tell, like, if you didn't know or you weren't expecting this, you would think that it's broken, that it's hung in this boot loop. But in reality, as you can see, it is not. Okay, so now it's done with its install scripts. We're ready to actually, quote, run the game. So again, I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna time compress it. Oh, there we go. There's your purple bluish screen of death. So it's gone, you're, you're done, you, you can't go any further, this is it. Uh, so in order to fix this, uh, Valve put out sort of an emergency fix on the Proton Experimental channel. And we are going to actually show you how to set this up right now. Let's exit the game. We are going to hit the gear. We're going to go into properties. And then we're going to go over to compatibility. We're going to force the use of a Proton version and we're going to change to experimental. But we're not necessarily done yet. We need to go back and check our downloads. Well, nothing downloading right now. We have to check our downloads to make sure that the new version of Proton Experimental came down. It might be sitting in a queue. Mine did download, but yours may be sitting there waiting to download. So make sure you download that before you go and try to rerun Need for Speed after changing compatibility. Let's go again. There should be no, there should be nothing in startup. There should be no startup scripts. There should be no EA app install. This should go right to the game. And the reason I'm letting this sit here and run is because I want you guys to see just because it's sitting here spinning doesn't mean it's not working, right? We all get impatient. Okay, there's our beta screen, which we know. Now, I'm not doing anything. I'm just pointing out that the word beta is on top. That will close. The EA screen will come up, right? And then this will close on its own eventually. Now, remember, I haven't done anything. I haven't installed any side-loaded files or anything. It's just working as it should. But now, now that we're done with the EA pass-through credentials nonsense, now we have to wait for the game to boot. And people who are afraid it's not going to work may say, oh, it's not working, it's just sitting here spinning. So it's not working. Not true, you just gotta wait. Okay. So the other parts of the equation that people are concerned about is that there's a loss of connection, there's no connection, um, temporary connection lost. As you can see, we didn't have any of that going on. This worked right in, um, so I haven't gone through all of this nonsense yet. Give away my firstborn child. Okay. So I'm going to let this thing go ahead and fully load. You've seen everything you probably came here to see, and if you're still hanging out, you're just wanting to see what it looks like when it does run correctly. But there should be no connection problems. There should be no other issues. If you followed the video so far, which is, listen, it's not very complicated. If you followed everything, this is the same thing you should be seeing. If for some reason your connection dies right here, that's something on your end probably. It's probably something to do with your network or your internet. 
it could be that EA is having uh, a breakdown. You just don't know. But it's not the problem of your Steam Deck. As you can see, we got all the way through. Listen, I hope this helps out. Please like, subscribe, leave comments. You guys have been great. We just passed 5,000 subscribers. Your subscription means everything to me. I'm hoping I'm doing a good thing for you. I hope you're enjoying the content. If so, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane R. Monroe. As always, thanks so much for watching and take care.